Welcome to part 7 of EasyFM tutorial. In this part we are going to take a look at the guidance system. And as you can see here, we no longer have our jet here. Instead, I have made a simple rocket. And uh, see what happens when we launch it. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't do anything particularly clever. We'll just go off and fly for 10 seconds and afterwards it's going to run out of the fuel and ceremoniously fall to the ground and what I want it to do is to hit that twice target over there so how to achieve it well first of all uh, let's see how to make our rocket go straight up. Okay, here's our blueprint, and and uh, during the begin play event, we're going to set guided vector, and we are going to set it to point straight up, like this. Now, in our EZFM, we are going to turn on the guidance, like this, and we are going to set uh, sensitivity. Now, PID controllers are a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. Uh, it's best to Google how they work. Uh, but uh, in short, the P value is sort of like the most basic sensitivity. So let's set, let's say, uh, this P to 2 for pitch guidance and also 2 for your guidance. And of course, we need uh, something to steer our rocket weight, so we're going to create a control like this and see if it works. And as you can see, we have a new line in the debug view, the yellow one, and that's of course the vector towards which it's steering. And as you can see, it straightens itself out and it flies. And when it runs out of fuel, it's just going to fall back down. So now that uh, we know how to make it go straight up, we can now also steer it towards our target. Now I have already made it a a new blueprint named target so in our rocket blueprint we are going to get all actors of this class and what uh, this will return is an uh, array of all actors that are of that target and since we only have one, we are just going to get the first one and tell EasyFM that this is a new target location. So you're gonna set a guided vector to location of this actor. So let's get its location. Let's get actor location and set it as our guided vector. And uh, we need to do one more thing, and that's to tell EasyFM that this vector is now not. Uh, 
not just a directional vector but a location in Unreal World and that's done by setting guided to location to one uh, or to true like this and we need to compile it check if everything's right looks good to me and see if it works and the rocket will first go straight up and after 10 seconds it's gonna switch target like this and it's going to try to glide towards this target but it's not going to hit because it's going too low and the reason for this is that it's just uh, trying to point nose towards this target but um, it's not gliding at zero AOA, it does have some angle and EasyFM can compensate for this by turning on compensate alpha the behavior now will be slightly different and uh, when first launching as you can see it will overshoot a bit to to correct for the sort of like slip and now it will try to uh, also su successfully glide and this is a good opportunity to show that mm, guidance can be used in combination with assists namely we are going to use alpha limiter and set it so it won't stall while trying to glide like this see if that helps Now, as you can see here, the guidance systems will not attempt to exceed 12 degrees AOA. And now it glides quite nicely. And it will probably hit the target. And that's pretty much all there is to guidance system. Uh, maybe I should try to quickly explain uh, PID uh, so the other two parameters are I or integral this is kind of similar maybe to the auto train in other words it will uh, if the P isn't enough to to reach the target I will uh, accumulate this error and will gradually apply more and more force uh, and uh, finally D is uh, sort of like damping and basically same thing as, as stability augmentation under assists and actually you cannot use both at the same time the uh, will override augmentation just something to be aware of and same goes with auto trim and integral parameter and one more mm, parameter here is uh, row okay it's possible to set guidance to attempt to roll towards target and uh, same parameters except there's one more that's auto level which will try to prevent overbank and finally 
we have uh, pitch and your full range. Uh, what this does is uh, when the target is almost exactly behind our object, this will, will apply full deflection uh, sort of uh, to prevent it being stuck in opposite direction.